Hey guys, Cindy out here with my RC Endeavors. How are you doing? I am doing pretty good. All right, um, today we're working on our Custom Keeper collaboration. Say that three times fast. Um, with uh, Shannon Green and Gina Ahrens. And this is the Custom Keeper that I created. Um, I did the cover on for this project. And now what I have inside, I made the little pocket and I've got some of Gina's goodies in here. This is a, um, this is called a field note. The custom keeper that I'm using is called a field note. This is a field note, um, I want to say utensil, <laughs> a field note pen or pencil or uh, paint brushes or whatever you want. It's like a little keeper. Uh, to put your stuff in. Now I put these in here because this is what I like to use to sketch with. So I just painted it with a little bit of blue paint. I did some gold over top of it. Um, same thing here, a darker blue paint and some gold over top, just some gold rub. So this I did put in here. Now if you guys remember, I did this a little different. I did it just with the string and I didn't do the third strip, which I don't, the third um, thingy. Uh, boy, I'm losing my words today. Holy crow. I didn't do the third string because I really don't need that. This is the little notebook that I had in here. Now, I did take it out for this purpose because what we need to do today is we are actually going to create a small page um, and it's going to be using at least one of Gina's stamps. Now, this is what I'm doing. Gina sent me this in a, oh, in a happy mail a long time ago and She's added paint to it, I've added paint to it, and we've just been having fun adding paint. So what I want to do, I want to take, oh there we go, this is color shift. I'm going to take a page out of here, and I just want to, what my goal is, is to use, um, what the prompt is, is we have to use at least one of her stamps. And what I want to do is I just want to make an entire page using stuff from Gina. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to glue this in. Now I don't want to use anything really, really wet on this because it's just a real thin notebook page. It's, you know, it's not paper that's going to hold up to a lot of work. So I got out the matte medium and I don't want to use that. I just want to use a glue stick. So that's what I'm going to use. Grab a glue stick, preferably one with glue in it, and I'm just going to add this painted paper here on the background. Okay, just wipe it off. If not, it'll stick to everything. Back my fingers. All right, so this is the paper. Set that aside. Now I want to, let's throw a little bit of color on here. Let's take some of this neon pink I've got right here. Look at that, isn't that cool, the metallics? That's that color shift. Just gonna take some neon paint, oh I like it. Very cool neon. Neon paint. Oops, I got some on the other page. No big deal. Just a little snail over there. For slow. Now I said this wasn't going to take a lot of wet medium, so what am I doing? Using a lot of wet medium on it. <laughs> ay, 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 Cindy. A little bit crazy. All right, let me dry this up and I'll be right back. All right, so this is dry. Um, now what I did is I got out um, some of Gina's stamps. I have this set, which is set number 11, um, that I'm gonna do some stamping with. And then I have this set, which is set number 13. Um, and I thought I'd use a couple things out of here. And then I also have these. These are, uh, this is a girl that she drew quite a while ago and I need to do some fussy cutting on it. And we're gonna play around and make this page. So uh, what I'm gonna do is fast forward through the process. 
I hope you guys enjoy and we'll chit chat at the end. Enjoy!
right guys so here we go we've got my page where I've used a few of Gina's stamps actually that's all I used on here was her stamps and a couple of her little drawings and I just love it and it just says journey and I thought it was fantastic so hey don't forget to check out the other artist uh, links in the description box below and check out both Gina and Shannon's Etsy shops because first of all she Shannon has these wonderful custom keepers in there which I love mine let me back you up a little bit um, I absolutely love mine and um, Gina also has many different things available in her Etsy shop whether it's stamps or stencils or digital drawings or whatever the case may be she has uh, she even has some original art in there so definitely check it out all right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and thumbs up, and I will chat with you guys later. Have a great day. Happy creating. Bye.